Chris Spiker for AV Nice. We're out in East Palmdale, out past the Buttes, at the back of a Butte, uh, on the homestead, the old homestead. Charlie Reza, your family's been here for over 100 years. Over 100 years we've been here. Um, we call it the rock pile, for obvious reasons you'll see. And um, they want us to talk about the Radio Palmdale. This old uh, service truck, delivery truck. Right, from my uncle, who is Milton Wolf, had Radio Palmdale, which is a business on Palmdale Boulevard, uh, where Bank of America is now. And uh, he did radio, TV repairs, uh, sold TVs and all that kind of stuff, records. Um, and actually, he started, he started his business in my father's business, which was the variety store on Sierra Highway, where the, I guess the city, the main meeting room is now, where the library is in right. town. Uh, Just about on the corner of the boulevard and Sierra Highway. Almost. It was kind of in the middle of that block. And it was called the Variety Store. And Milton had a, a little spot in the back of the Variety Store that he started repairing, uh, you know, TVs, or not TVs then, but radios and things. And then he moved to this building over on Palmdale Boulevard. Um, and he, he and his uh, brother, Carl, and, and the families and everybody kind of just had a wonderful store there for many, many, many years. Um, this was his delivery truck or pickup truck, whatever, you know, he picked up TVs also. Um, it, was, it, it was enclosed. It was a enclosed top in, in there. And uh, so that was so many, many years ago, like early, early 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, so when this truck got tired, he just parked he, it. He just parked it. Because that's what my family does. Well, there's, yeah. there are lots of things on the property yeah. here. But when you have 150 acres, you've got room for stuff. That's correct. That's correct. And, and you know, sadly, that's this is what you end up with. Uh, <laughs> but it's too precious to us yeah. to let go because I can still see Uncle Milton getting in that truck. And, and he was such a dear, dear person. Uh, love him and miss him very much. We think about him every time we see the truck. Yeah, that's right. Even I do. That's right. I think it's a perfect spot for it. <laughs> yeah, we should just plant some flowers around it. We just come and, well, maybe this is where one of the picnic tables is going to go. <laughs> maybe this is right. <laughs> course, my, my daughter would be mortified because this is the junkiest part of the whole ranch. Uh, so one man's junk. Yeah, well, that's true. So whoever sees this will... Well, uh, you'd see all of our junk. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the, the the troops are over here having lunch. Yes. Uh, so we'll let them have lunch, and then maybe we'll uh, walk and look at look at the rocks a little okay. bit. Okay. Thanks for cool. having us out here. You're quite welcome, Chris. Glad to have you. You bet. Well, hey, Chris Spiker, we're checking out a couple of petroglyphs here that were made by cowboys in 1916. I'm, I'm happy that when I had this was that a wide open prairie, that, although so it's still here in East Palmdale, still a wide open prairie but you got half a million people living about 20 miles away. But it's a beautiful sunny day in Eastern California on the high desert, about 2,400 feet. Uh, blue skies, light clouds, snow in the mountains. Just taking a walk around this old homestead they call the rock pile. 